Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews Sunday morning coffee. Yes, Sunday morning I always put out a coffee. And then the rest of the week I put out my tea and my wine and my liquors and my beers. So, check out the playlists, alright? And you can watch just the liquor ones. I have them broken up the bourbon, rum, everything. Just the tea, just the coffee, just the wines. I have hundreds of them. I have 600 videos as this is being made. Today I stumbled upon, or not today, but today I'm doing a review of a, a coffee I stumbled upon called Rev, R-E-V-V. -V. And this one is Afterburner. Now I just did another Rev called No Surrender. And when I bought them, I didn't know anything about them. But I should have figured Rev, Revely, Rev you up, uh, and names like Afterburner and No Surrender <laughs> might give you a hint to what's going on. But I didn't know, and, and so now I do know. They have uh, about, uh, what is it, I wrote 27% uh, more caffeine than the normal K-cup. They have about 3 grams more coffee, 2 or 3 more grams coffee in there if you weigh them. For, that's, so you're getting a bargain there, and you're going to get more flavor, more taste, of course. They're made out of Vermont. They give uh, a percentage of the proceeds to the Purple Heart Foundation, which helps uh, build uh, kitchens and stuff for disabled veterans. Uh, they have these cool names, Afterburner, No Surrender. And um, let me see if I can find in my phone when I was reading it, I'm doing a little research on it. Um, the, um, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. All right, so this is the Afterburner. Boldest blend, oh boy. This is the boldest blend. Now, what sit on the No Surrender, which I did just did, was the smoothest blend. This is the boldest. And the smoothest was, you know, it had some flavor, believe me, it had some kick to it. You are cleared for takeoff. A rich, smoky, dark, roasted dose of jet propulsion for that boldness you need to go from super to supersonic. Throttle up before you find yourself face down. Yo! Alright, so. Uh, about the Purple Heart Homes. Purple Heart Homes is a 501c3 founded by blah blah blah. Um, provide housing solutions for service connected disabled veterans and their families. Alright? Driven by the belief that no veteran should be left behind. Purple Heart Homes together with the community is committed to... Uh, ensuring quality of life solutions for disabled American veterans uh, of all eras. Now, I thought that was important to note. All right. Uh, so now we're going to taste the afterburner. And I'm able to shoot right out of here. This might be the last video. Tell me. All right. I was attacked earlier. I put the no surrender in. Uh, now, I'm going to take a cruise, I think. Let's smell it. You could see, you know what, because I just did the one, uh, I told you, it's 27% more caffeine than, than normal. I just did the No Surrender. You see how I am. I'm, I may take off with the afterburn. I'm serious. Hmm, it's got a lot of smell. It's got the smoky, uh, smoky wood, wood fire, campfire, um, Kind of like, um, the other one I said toast, but this is more of a waffle. More of like a, 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 a waffle that you leave in a little longer. Not too long, but you get the nice brown, it uh, uh, starts to darken the waffle. Okay, different from toast. A waffle smell, kind of a uh, darkly done waffle. Not burnt. With the smoky wood, the waffle. And a smell I like, and I can't put my finger on it. Oh, that drives me crazy. Okay, well, I'm going to have to taste it. There's another smell when you put it all together. It's just a nice, pleasant um, uh, smell coming out of here. Wow. Very smoky wood. Smoky wood. Chocolatey. Like a thick chocolate, too. Like dark cocoa, baking cocoa. 
that you put in to where it made it like kind of really thick almost like in milk not the milk taste but the be thickness of that with a lot of cocoa in it the wood taste cooked waffle and I guess the waffle and the, what I can describe it as waffle you might taste toast you might um, it's given it kind of that sweetness and you get that coyness of uh, aftertaste of, of like the smoky wood um, it's unique and it's different it's good it is good now like I said bring this to work all right it's got 27 percent more right looks innocent but you'll be after lunch where everybody else is going down all right you're getting your work done getting your work done put a little oh you know I put the heavy cream in and I want to see if it holds up to the heavy cream and maybe in your case some sugar some artificial sweeteners some flavored creamers I don't know I could drink this black but it's got a it's got that taste to it which is I like it but it's not for everybody it's not gonna be for everybody right? it's bold but if you put the sugar and and sweeteners and stuff and cream and creamers flavored creamers I believe a coffee should be strong to shine through that Creamers and sugar should enhance this, not cover it up, not cover it up to where it waters it down is terrible. Enhance it. And uh, I believe it would. I believe a little sugar, a little uh, creamer, and you'd still get that, that, that dark taste coming through. See, it made it just right. And I like that this is more smoky than a lot of dark roasts. I don't know how they... But it's... Um, it's got a little smokiness to it, and I like that. I like that smokiness. Uh, and of course, if you like the extra caffeine, um, and the fact that it helps the veterans, and it is a good coffee, and as strong as it is, and I'm not just about the caffeine, which isn't crazy strong, 27% more. Um, I could drink this black uh, easily. I like the flavors coming out of it enough. And I'm a nerd. You know, I pick them out. I don't just, I'm weird. And so I would sit there and think about it. Pick them. But that's what I like to do. But I can do it with this. I don't like, I don't like dishwater. Right? I like something that has a little flavor to it. Now, if I'm drinking a mild one, like a, a light roast, that's fine. Okay? Totally different. But then I'm picking out the grassiness, the floral, maybe some fruit flavors. and It's just what I do. Okay? That's why I have this channel. I don't have this channel back. And I have this channel because that's who I am. That's what I like to do. Uh, you know, most people just like to put it down. I like to sip it and savor it and think about it. I'm a weird guy. So anyway, <laughs> I hope I, I like this, and um, I'm getting revved up here. I right? revved up coffee. I didn't actually just put that together, but I'm, perfect name. Fantastic name and a damn good coffee. All right, everybody. If you see this or you get online, uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. And finally, I need to say, because I'm raving about it a little bit, uh, I did not get this free. Nobody contacted me. I've never talked to anybody. Not a problem if I did, okay? Because if I get something free, I'm going to do it just like I do anything else. There's no guarantees on anything. But I didn't hear. Um, no, they don't know who I am. Never heard of them. And I never heard of them until just now. So anyway, from Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody. Thank you for being here. And don't forget, I don't do Patreon. I don't ask for nothing. All that, Nothing. Except one thing, one thing, your subscription, you watch my videos, right? The ones you like, right? You know, I put out all stuff. If you don't like, you don't watch it. Maybe you just like the teas or the coffees. You like the coffees, right? You might like the wines, blah, blah, blah. Look at the playlist. Look at them. Give me a comment. And I will really appreciate that. And I will search the world for you and keep finding this interesting stuff. See, if I didn't do this, I would have never found this. And all the other great stuff that I find. All the great stuff that I find. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>